right, hi. We're at the Fancy Food Show We're here with David from Rogue, uh, Rogue Cheese. For those viewers that don't know about Rogue uh, Cheese, could you give a little bit of oh, information yeah. about what you guys do? Uh, Rogue Creamery was founded in 1928 by a cooperative and then purchased by Tom Bella in 1935. He gave the creamery to his son in 1998, and then in 2002, he sold the creamery to my partner, Kerry Bryant, and myself on a handshake. A handshake? And, yeah. No, the way, no, no, the way <laughs> things used to be done. And uh, Ig still wears um, the master cheesemaker's hat at Rogue Creamery, and he taught Kerry Bryant and myself how to make cheese. And certainly, um, we're, a, we're a fast learner, yeah. and uh, it takes a lot of hard work and certainly a lot of passion. You guys are based in Oregon. We are, um, right next to the California border. All so, right. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, so there's a few cheeses that we love this year. One is the, uh, the Echo Blue. Yeah. Uh, could you give us a little? Oh, absolutely. Um, it's really one of my favorite cheeses and one of Rogue Creamery's rarest cheeses. We only make 400 wheels of it annually. We have 50 goats and we put about eight months of age underneath that cheese. And um, it's really complex. The blue flavor is bright. It has some really well-rounded citrus tones, and then the mouthfeel is just really silky, and it elongates with some really sweet fruit and brown butter flavors, and then that bright, bright blue just keeps coming at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a blue that you can taste for many minutes. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. It's one that I wait for and anticipate to release at the Fancy Food Show every year. Two other cheeses. One was the, the caveman. Oh, the caveman. The caveman blue. Yeah, the caveman is our oldest brand. It's a brand from 1928, and we resurrected it. And it took us seven years to perfect this recipe. So I have to tell you, I ate a lot of caveman that didn't make it to the show today <laughs> to bring this lot of cheese. And it's it's really an earthy caramel. Uh, flavored blue that has um, just a lot of depth and um, it has a lot of texture to it too. It has a really cream, buttery mouthfeel and then what you'll notice is a hint of a crunch here and there, lactic crystals and terracine crystals that subtly come through and the rind is just beautiful. It's um, a brown rind with hints of green and blue and so that's because we age this wheel in our limestone line caves and a lot of flavor comes from the environment that we age this cheese so it's just um, it's again it's a it's a blue that's unique it has the depth and it's it's one that you have to Taste yeah, again. It's it's pretty yeah, well. those caramel tones, it's just I love the sweetness of it. It's like adult candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, the the best I think which I had was the brutal oh, oh yeah. Um, so I love the The Brutal Blue is um, a blue that we can select um, lots that we know will age out. And this is unbelievable view. Yeah. The brutal blue that you tasted is aged four years. That is four the years. Oldest, That's a long time. Oldest blue cheese you've tasted made in America, I'm sure. Yeah. And that um, blue is um, it, it, it has a sweetness. It has some fruit tones, and then it has just a mouthfeel that's yeah. rich. I, well, I noticed specifically was it the texture, the, uh, the, the, ter uh, the crystals. Yes, the terracine, the terracine and the lactic crystals. It's just full of crunch. It just um, fills the mouth with an experience, and you get this signature pepper tone. So you're getting like white pepper, green pepper, black pepper exploding in the mouth. And, and you were saying something about the, the selection process. Yeah. You have to actually go through and see uh, which, which batches would age the best. Absolutely. And that's important um, to know the flavor profile and actually how the integrity of those curds are knitting together um, so that we can project 
that this wheel will age out more years and it have um, the integrity, um, the composition, and, uh, and and hold up because this is a semi-soft cheese, and um, no, there there are it's very rare. And in fact, I think this is the first four-year age blue that I've seen, and I'm very proud to uh, debut uh, it we're, here. We're excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and thank you for, for bringing it here. Oh, it's That's beautiful. And, um, yeah, I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, thank you. And um, uh, would you do us a favor and say, lick my spoon into uh, the camera? Lick my spoon.